These are all the blanks after I surfaced one side. Surface finish is pretty good. I'm going to go over and lap them on a piece of sandpaper now. Flip them over and do the other side. This is a piece of aluminum that I surfaced both sides, got accurate to within two tenths, and then cut some grooves in so that the super glue has a place to go so it doesn't lift the uh, blanks up off the surface too much. Now these are going to be ball markers for golf. So I got one with my name on it. it says offset. So if you have to offset your uh, ball, it remind you which way you put it. I'm going to show you how I engrave one. What I did is I went through and I put three holes in here that are about eight thousandths bigger than the diameter of the marker. So it's one point zero zero eight thousandths. And then I put them exactly two inches apart. So what I do is I move to two inches to a new part and then I zero the axis. And now I'm in the center of the marker again. So I can do three different names instead of using like a G54, G55 offset or something like that. Okay, we'll get ahead and get started. Let's turn on, that's just air to blow the uh, little dust off. See what happens here. Okay, show you what it looks like. So I've got a stop over on this side. So every time I put this fixture back in, it's in the same spot. So you can see I just engraved that one pat. And there's a couple other guys with the names on there. 